Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a day in the life for Chrissy. Um, Kylie's at school and I'm off today. So I got a few things on my little list to do today. So number one was to get out. Um, I had to take Kylie to school this morning, of course. She used to be at preschool by 8.30. So I was already up and out. I just decided to go back home and chill for a little bit before I actually started my day. My off days, I usually start a little bit later just because I have to get up early so much throughout the week and, you know, on the days I actually have to work. And today is Monday. I have Mondays off because I have school on Mondays, but I'm out of school until the 18th. So I'm enjoying these last few days off until I have to go back to school. So I got up and got my eyebrows done. I'm actually outside of AQ. Uh, I get my eyebrows done at AQ, but I get my nails done somewhere else. So I'll be having to come separately. But also what's on my list today is I'm going to the car lot. Uh, I had went to the dealership like probably a month or two ago and I was actually just there to get an oil change, but you know, you at the dealership, they want to sell you some shit. So while I was there, I test drove a Kia Sportage. It was like a 2023, maybe 2022. I can't even really remember, but that mug was fine. And so ever since I test drove that, I just be like, thinking in my mind like man I really want to upgrade my car and I really just want to upgrade my car to like an SUV I really want to sit higher I liked when I test drove that that mug was fine so I decided I'm gonna go to the car lot today and see what they got going on I'm going to CarMax in O'Fallon because that's I got that's where I got my car from well I went to Missouri but I went to CarMax so I'm gonna head back to CarMax see what they talking about see if they got something on their lot for Big Chrissy and stay tuned i also didn't tell anybody that i was getting a new car so if i end up leaving with a new car today i know everybody gonna be like what the fuck chrissy but i didn't tell nobody i did talk to my boyfriend about it a little bit and he was uninterested <laughs> he was just like you don't really need a new car he, he supported me with whatever i want to do he made sure to let me know that but he just was like you know you just be doing shit and i do i'm not even gonna cap to you i do just be doing shit just like i'm driving and vlogging as we speak but i just pulled up to the car lot so let's see what they talking about first look at this carmax over here this is exactly why i went to missouri because it don't look like they got shit over here but who knows they might have some for me so i'm about to try to see anyways see it's not a lie i mean i guess it's a decent amount this is the jeep that i was looking at though i'm gonna show y'all because i think this one i'm gonna go ahead and test drive I don't know what it is with me and white cars, but I always end up hopping in a white car. I mean, I think I've only had every car that I've had pretty much was white. And then I think I had one black car. But this is the Jeep. That mug is nice. I do something serious to this. I will get rid of these original ass rims and put me some fire ass rims on this mug and tint all these windows black as hell. <laughs> but that mug fine. I wish, I wish you guys could see the inside and see the seats. The seats are really light. That's the only thing I can say I don't like. And that's because I got too many nieces and nephews. So let's see what else they got. I'm gonna show y'all this Toyota hybrid that I was looking at. That's nice too. See, I can do SUVs like this. I just can't do anything like a truck truck. Like I can't do a truck truck. And I wonder where you're, this one, I wonder if this one's not for sale because it doesn't have the price tag on it or nothing. But this one kind of looks, it looks newer on the outside, but it looks older in the inside. Like the middle console, this one has a little bitty screen compared to the other one. But this one kind of look a little bit cleaner. I don't know. Well, we'll see if I can test drive that one too. I might be able to test drive that. Okay, so I'm currently waiting to test drive this Jeep. Now, I really didn't want anything underneath like a 2020 or whatever, but I also don't want my car notes to be really expensive and I want to be underneath a certain amount. So I was willing to take a 2019, which is what I'm about to test drive because it was a lot cheaper and my car note would be cheaper. And so, you know, as I'm looking to get a new car, I'm still thinking about like my budget and stuff. And I know that I don't want to be paying eight to $900 a month for a car. Therefore, I'm not about to do it. 
that far. <laughs> I'm going to test drive this 2019, which is only 19, 20, 21, 22. I, it's four years old, but it's really nice. It got heated seats. It got a uh, remote start. It's really nice. So I'm willing to, you know, take the good with the bad to get what I want and still have. And I'm actually considering not trading my car and I'm actually considering keeping my car and then just going ahead and paying it off. So that's what I think I might do. So this is me with my new car, a. Hey. What it do, gang? New booty. New booty. Come ride with me in my new Jeep. <laughs> For you, <Woo>! man. <laughs> this one's fine. I'm like, okay. who is that? <laughs> All right, I told you. This one surprise, is surprise. I know what, bro. Only Why are we happier than she is? <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, I'm going to show everyone. I was like, let's take this to Chicago immediately. <laughs> Y'all, please put my phone to charge this. Road trip. Let's go to Springfield and go to Portillo. Okay, oh, road let's trip. Let's go to Portillo. So I did it, y'all. I got it got the new car put up on my family surprised everybody and now we are downtown st louis it's a beautiful day and we are about to go eat at broadway is it broadway oysters bar broadway oysters bar we've never been so it's our first time coming here so let's check this out oh i'm going the wrong damn way Shit, i thought it was back there so let's check this out see how it is uh, like i said i've never been here so this will be my first time going I got Kylie with me, so hopefully they have good stuff that we can actually, that she can eat. I mean, I know they're going to have stuff that I'm going to eat, because I'm going to get whatever. But hopefully they got some good stuff that she can eat, too. I don't know, but look at the state of this place. It's nice. The way she makes it. I don't, unfortunately. And that's crazy. Can I move money? Is this a credit card? It's crazy. I was going to try to camp. Oh, God, no, don't do that. You sit back there and you can see that. We picked this spot because we can. I'm sure. So, dinner was immaculate. We got, it was amazing. And we got lots of food to take home because I literally, well, me, I tried like four different things. <laughs> and we shared it, but we still got a lot of food to take home because couldn't nobody eat all that goddamn food. So. It was really good, though. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. So if you ain't been downtown to the downtown Oyster Bar, come check it out. It's far. I'm going to give the price level. It's a little pricey. No, it, it was, it's very affordable. You're not going to Very affordable. Lot. You need about $25. That's yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, consider we're eating seafood. Unless you like me, you want to try four things, then just know you're going to spend at least 60 bones. 